Hi, I'm Pierre Escobas from Riviera Marco, and today we're going to do a little video about photographing and filming hornets. Let's go! We have this fig tree in the garden, which right now is absolutely full of figs. And the early ones, the first ones, are very big, very ripe, and they are attracting lots of animals. They are attracting the birds, but also insects, uh, butterflies, flies, and European hornets. They come every day now to feed on the figs. So that's a very good opportunity to actually take some shots and film those insects. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set up a rig to do both photography and videography of the hornets. Let's go. So for photography, it's going to be very simple. I'm just going to be using my usual rig with the uh, uh, Laowa lens and the con uh, concave diffuser and a small flash. I'm going to go up very carefully. I'll try not to bounce the diffuser against the figs so uh, I don't disturb the hornets and I don't get stung. So once they're feeding, let's go up and try and shoot some pictures. So now let's uh, move to video. I've done my photos and I've used the ladder to be at the subject level. Now I want to do the same with the video, but I need much more stability. So I'm going to have to rig these video tripods, it's quite, it's quite heavy, onto the ladder so I can film at the level. Uh, I'm going to use simply elastic balls like this and nylon ties and that's going to do the job. And I'm also going to need more light. So I'm going to clamp a couple of these LED lights onto the tripod so to provide additional light for the video. So let's do it. So I've set up the camera, now it's all ready to go. I just had to go up there very carefully and start filming. I'll go slowly so as not to disturb the hornets, but they won't attack me or anything. They're very busy feeding. is going to be a good take. The hornet's busy feeding and uh, is not paying attention to me, no risk at all. And I've got a very good sequence very close by. 
And of course, I'm filming in 4K so as to have a maximum definition. Excellent. It's in the box. So we're done for today. It went quite well. Uh, she didn't do anything as usual, but I got good uh, images and good video clips, I think. So without much investment, this is all in the garden. You must be aware of your environment. And if you find subjects, near your house or in nature close by, just go and, you know, take the opportunity to, to do a clip or to do some, some photo shoot. A word of warning though, do not attempt this if you're not familiar with hornets and uh, other large insects that can sting. About 10 hornet stings could kill you potentially, so be very, very careful. This video is no way an incentive for you to go and badger hornets. If you find a nest, don't get too close because there'll be hundreds of individuals. I wouldn't do the same with a nest. I'd be much more careful, use a longer lens, and I would wear beekeeper's gear, definitely. Uh, in this case, because there were only two or three individuals and you know they go about their business, they don't mind me, so that's fine. I was careful, as you, as you have seen, moving very slowly and not bothering the insects, so there was no risk at all. But be careful, please. So, we'll be back soon with another episode. See you.